Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 29th of 2021. Well, it is titled Apollo 17, the Crescent Earth. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see an image of our own Earth as taken by the Apollo 17 astronauts as they headed back from the moon back in December of 1972. Now we can see the Earth as a crescent because any solid object will undergo phases. Now we're used to thinking of phases as being associated with our moon because that is where they are most prominent and that is the very easiest object to see them. However, any object that is solid will undergo phases from the right perspective. And if you were on the moon, you would watch the Earth go through phases just as our moon does. So the Earth could appear as a crescent or a full phase or as a completely new phase where you don't see any of the illuminated portion. So it is just a matter of any object that is not giving off its own light will only be half illuminated by our sun. And we can only see half of the object at a time. So the phases are just the combination of those two things that half the object is illuminated and we're only seeing half. And sometimes we see the entirely illuminated face which would be a full phase and sometimes we only see part of it and if we see a thin part of it it would be a crescent phase such as we see here today. Now this is also a very rare sight that only a couple of dozen humans have ever seen to date and those are the ones who traveled to the moon as a chance to see our earth from this distance and see it as a in in different phases like this. Even the astronauts who travel to the International Space Station, they're in a very low Earth orbit and can see part of the Earth and its curvature, but cannot get the view of the entire Earth. You actually have to travel further away to be able to get a view such as we're seeing here today. So it's only been those astronauts who traveled to the, the moon during the Apollo missions uh, back in the 1960s and 70s who were the ones who were able to see uh, images such as this and get that complete view of our own Earth. And of course, there are plans to return to the moon. So it is likely that others will get a chance to see this in the future as more and more exploration of the moon continues, including potential human visits to the moon in the near future. So that was our picture of the day for uh, April the 29th of 2021. It was titled Apollo 17, the Crescent Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.